Linda went to work in a restaurant after school. It was one of the most prestigious and visited restaurants in the city. Linda knew about this and was ready for the fact that she would not be hired as a waitress right away. Therefore, for almost a year, she worked as a dishwasher and she watched every free minute how the waiters move and how they serve customers. She memorized the correct serving. And once, she had to replace one experienced waitress who had an attack of appendicitis right at work. And the hall was completely filled that evening. And the confused owner of the restaurant didn't know how to save the day. The most respected guests and influential people in the city gathered at the restaurant. The delay in service was unacceptable and Linda took a chance. She approached the owner of the restaurant and said, I can replace that waitress. He looked at her with a surprised look, waved his hand and said, come, I will help you. Let's take a chance. And in the morning, he praised Linda in front of the whole team because she coped with the work of a waitress. And he said that now she can replace other waitresses. And when they have a position as a waitress, Linda will become one. And this position has come up. That waitress who end up in the hospital with appendicitis quit soon after. And Linda became a perfectly legitimate waitress. Linda was valued and respected at work, including by clients. She performed her new duties very diligently. And she treated all clients with respect. Therefore, Linda always had a pretty decent tip. She honestly told her few friends that she enjoyed her job. She did not listen to them when they called her a servant, and she added that this work makes it possible to live a normal life. Living a normal life was important to Linda because she didn't actually have a home. After the divorce of her parents, Linda lived either with her mother or with her father. She changed schools until the ninth grade. She was not offended in the new families of her mom and dad, but in both houses, Linda was a temporary resident and felt like a guest. Her relatives had no doubt that after school, Linda would be independent and would live separately. Therefore, her first job was as a dishwasher. It would seem that her mom and dad were supposed to help Linda get a higher education, but this did not happen. Probably, both thought that the other parent would do it, and as a result, Linda herself chose her own path. She got her first job on her own, she found an apartment herself, and since then, she has never turned even for trifling help to her mom or dad. True, they offered their daughter some money a couple of times, but Linda always refused. Linda wanted to be the manager of this or a similar restaurant, but she knew she needed an education. Therefore, she began to choose a suitable institution of higher education and firmly decided to get the necessary diploma. This became her goal. But she didn't think about marriage, although it was already time for her. She never met the one with whom she wanted to live her whole life. A new deputy manager came to work for them, almost the same age as Linda. Maybe he was a couple of years older than her, and the unmarried waitress got excited. He was handsome and educated. He communicates with the team and visitors easily and naturally. They also learned that he was not married. Her colleagues asked her, Linda, how do you like him? Linda replied, he seems nice and professional. Colleagues continued the interrogation. Have you noticed that he doesn't take his eyes off you? And it was them who advised Linda to take a closer look at Dean. And he really made Linda stand out from everyone else. He treated her differently. After a while, colleagues started talking about Linda and Dean, that they were a couple. And in fact, that was true. Now, Dean walked Linda home after work. His workday ended earlier, but he either stayed late or came to collect Linda at the end of her shift. They met openly and didn't intend to hide their relationship. And then, everything changed. Linda has learned to quickly understand people by communicating with clients. They were different in appearance and age. The difference was in how they treated the staff. But in this restaurant, it almost never happened that the clients humiliated the waiters, the doorman, or any employee. But there are always exceptions. The exception was the restaurant owner's wife. She came to the restaurant as to her home. She was rude and sarcastic. Each time the woman chose a different table. It was not easy for the waiter who served this table. She never likes the service. This time, the hard fate went to Linda. 
this lady sat down at the table that Linda was serving. The rest of the waiters breathed a sigh of relief, thinking they were lucky this time. And Linda went to take the order, knowing that now it would not be easy for her. But she didn't even flinch outwardly. She had an idea about this lady, but she considered herself a stalwart. Linda accepted the order extremely politely with a frozen smile, ignoring the facial expressions of the lady, who, with her whole appearance, expressed contempt for the servers. The lady ordered soup, leaned back in her chair, and seemed to step back from everything. Linda waited a bit to see if there would be a sequel, and then went for the soup. And when she returned with a tray, the lady changed her mind. Now, she wanted broth with croutons. She yelled at Linda, because she allegedly waited a long time for soup. She also told Linda to leave her husband's restaurant, and therefore, her restaurant too. She only brings shame to this restaurant. Linda didn't respond. She wrote down the order again and left. The cooks winked sympathetically at Linda and handed out the broth and toast. Linda looked out into the hall. There was no lady at the table. She waited 5, 10, and 20 minutes. The broth has cooled down. Linda returned it to the kitchen, asking for a replacement, while she herself went to look for this lady. But she didn't go up to her husband's office. The bartender told Linda about this. She wasn't in the ladies' room either. And suddenly, Linda decided to look into the back room. The door to it was half open, and characteristic sounds were heard from there. Linda came in and saw this picture. This lady and Dean were so infatuated with each other that they didn't even notice Linda and she took out her phone and recorded a short video of what was happening here, as if on someone's prompt. Then she quietly left. As Linda walked, she tried not to cry. An hour ago, Dean told her that it was time for them to decide and think about the wedding. And Linda remembered that she had already noticed how this lady openly flirted with Dean on her past visits to this restaurant. And he didn't seem to resist. But then, Linda didn't attach any importance to this. She chalked it up to the fact that the restaurant's owner's wife gave him such unequivocal attention, and it would be indecent for Dean to ignore it. But the matter turns out to be different. But what awaits Linda if she becomes his wife? But she will not be his wife. Today, she will say goodbye to him if he will wait for her again after work. When Linda went into the kitchen to the cooks, she heard this lady, who returned from the back room and probably hungry after what happened there, shouting, Where is this leisurely waitress? Where is my order? Linda brought her the broth, and when she wanted to put down the plate, the lady asked loudly, Have you had enough sleep? Rested? You have an enviable job, and you grab a tip, and you have time to sleep during work. And suddenly, Linda poured a bowl of broth over the lady's head, not expecting this from herself. This scene will not be forgotten for a long time. No one will forget the lady's bulging eyes with spreading mascara. Then, her cries interspersed with profanity threats that now will be with this waitress. And Linda just left. She leaves the restaurant, and everyone realizes that Linda doesn't work there anymore. Dean comes running to the screen, and he doesn't know who he should go to, to Linda or the lady. But Linda is not interested in what he decides. She had already left the restaurant, slamming the door. Linda returned home. She stood under warm jets of water and seemed to wash away the past day. Linda washed away her relationship with Dean and began to think about where she should look for a job. Then, she lay down on the couch and watched the video on her phone. Everything is visible here. But why should Linda watch this? No, she needs to share it with someone. And Linda shared. In the morning, the girl woke up and went to the restaurant to quit. She understood that after yesterday, she would not work here. But she will tell Dean in front of everyone to stay away from her. And he must understand why. At the restaurant, almost all the employees met her, and immediately, the restaurant owner left his office. He got ahead of Linda by saying that she is a great employee and she can expect a promotion soon. After all, the position of deputy manager in which Dean worked was vacated. Everyone was at a loss, but no one dared to comment. The restaurant owner himself did it. He thanks Linda for the interesting video she sent him yesterday. He thanked her for figuring out some things with her help but didn't say what exactly. But this is optional. The employees guessed this was about his rude wife. What they don't realize is that Linda helped catch her infidelity to her husband. And he had long suspected from his wife that she would want any man that paid attention to her. 
He just didn't have any proof. And he wanted to divorce her for a long time. She didn't want children. All she wanted from him was money. She shamed him in public several times. Therefore, he had long thought about divorce, although he knew that she would resist. And now, the issue was practically resolved. His lawyer has been dealing with his divorce since this morning. Linda didn't expect such an outcome, but she was quite happy about it, and not because Dean was fired and the restaurant owner offered his position to Linda. It was much more important to teach a lesson to his impudent and rude wife. Linda was sure that it was unacceptable to behave like that, and even a bowl of soup on her head was nothing compared to how often she humiliated people. Linda had already stopped scolding herself for that broth trick. She became convinced that an adequate response is often the right thing to do. In fact, Linda had no time to think about this impudent woman. She has a position of responsibility. She's preparing for college, and she has her whole life ahead of her.